for the Class AA Championship. Let's welcome the Mountain Lions from Tucker County. Let's welcome the Tulsa Rebels. Here's Tucker County head coach Tom Gutschall meeting at center court with Tulsa head coach Mike Smith. For Tucker County assistant coach Steve Douglas and for Tulsa assistant coach Ed May. Support staff for Tucker County, Jessica Gutschall, Liz Bell, Angie Helmick, Katie Bell, and Lindsey Browning. Support staff from Tulsa, Kelton Fields, Sean Sammons, Jesse Parsley, Amanda Copley, and Mary Dotson. Lions Club host for Tucker County is Kenny Waldeck. Lions Club host for Tulsa is Tyson Swigert. Now let's meet the squads. For Tucker County, wearing number 12, Tom Adams. For Tulsa, wearing number 51, Landon Hatfield. For the Mountain Lions, number 20, Eddie Poling. For the Rebels, number 23, Derek Webb. From Tucker County, wearing 22, Neil Parsons. From Tulsa, wearing number 43, Brandon Stiltner. The Mountain Lions, number 30, is Jason Hedrick. The Rebels, number 33, is Daniel Walker. From Tucker County, wearing 34, Chad Pregley. From Tulsa, wearing number 15, Jason Walker. For Tucker County, number 42, Dave Lambert. For Tulsa, number 45, Alan Hovenak. For the Mountain Lions, 44 is Chris Thomas. For the Rebels, 41 is Harvey Markham. Now the starting lineups for Tucker County. 6-3, senior number 10, Chad Kaisamore. For Tulsa, 5-10, sophomore number 21, Jay Salmon. For the Mountain Lions, a six-foot junior, number 14, Wes Lambert. For the Rebels, a six-foot senior, junior, number 11, Ashley Pertee. From Tucker County, a 6'1", a junior, number 24, Wes Rumer. From Tulsa, 6'3", senior, number 22, Josh O'Walker. For the Mountain Lions, 6'4", junior, number 32, Derek Simmons. For the Rebels, the 6'3", junior number 31, Cameron Justice. And for Tucker County, 6'6", six, six, junior number 40, Jim Ailiff. And for Tulsa, 6'4", senior number 53, Joey Brumfield. It's game time. The tip-off is next. Right after we hear this word from One Valley Bank for solutions. You rebroadcast, publication, or use of the accounts or description of this game without the express written consent of the Metro News Radio Network is prohibited. Once again, from the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum, here's Travis Jones. Class AA Championship on the line. Simmons stands in for Tucker County. Walker for Tulsa in the jump circle. The ball is tipped. It is one on the double tip by Simmons. Gets it over to Kaismore, Tucker County. Left side in the front court. Pass goes along the baseline to Wesley Rimmer. Chest pass to Ayla. Ayla bodied up on Brumfield. Turnaround jumper in and around, back in again. What makes Ayla so special, not only is he a bull, a lot of strength, but he's also very quick and agile along the blocks. Out top, Brumfield passes right side into the hands of Cameron Justice. Left side pass taken by Jay Sammons on the floor once to Ashley Pertee. Tucker straight up man-to-man -man defense. Left side pass taken into the paint by Walker. Travel called. Ball belongs to Tucker County. Tucker very nice coming around the screens, and they're a strong team as well. Everyone thinks of Ailis as being such a strong player, but the guards are big and they also are physical. 2-0 Tucker with the early lead, spotting up. Simmons open, look at a three-pointer, and he hits it. Derek Simmons buries the three. It is 5-0 with 7.09 to play here in the opening period. Right side, Simmons. Now Brumfield shoots for three, and the big guy drains the three right of the key. 5-3, 6.09 to 
6.55 to play here in the opening quarter. Between the rings, Kaismore passes far side to Simmons. Now into the corner to Wesley Rumor. Rumor back out to Tulsa starts this game man to man as well. The black and gold, Tucker County Mountain Lions against the orange and blue Tulsa Rebels. Driving baseline, cut off, Simmons passes out along the wing, pulled in by Rumor into the paint. Ayla takes it under, Ayla called on the charge. We saw it against Polka on Thursday, Travis. Tulsa plays defensive position against big people as well as any club you will see. Ayla picks up personal foul number one. That is the first foul of the game. 6.34 to play here in the opening quarter. 5-3, Tucker County lead. Joe Sanders walks unmolested into the front court. Goes left side. Bounce pass goes to Brumfield. He spins in the lane. Shot blocked. Rumor pulls it down. Ayla collects the basketball. Crosses the timeline. Far side is West Rumor. Pass comes top of the key to Simmons. Stands 23 feet away from the hoop. Uses up his dribble, bounce pass, Rimmer sails under baseline, scores it. Nice job going to the weak side. Tulsa has to worry about doubling up on Aleph in the low blocks. The penetration by Lambert that we talked about collapsed the Rebel defense. 7-3, Tucker County leads 5-4. Popping out to take the pass is Cameron Justice. Now left side to Ashley Perti. Taking it on the floor, Salmons pull up jumper, 15, no good. Rebound, collected Tucker County. West Lambert, lead pass down the floor. Aleph all alone lays it up good. Tucker County beat Tulsa down the floor. They get a bucket, 9-3. to three. Travis, without question, this is not the same Tucker County team we have seen on Thursday and Friday evening. And now we have a moving strict pick uh, called in the front court on Tulsa. Front field is called for that pick. That is his first. Tucker County... Right now with momentum with 5.30 to play here in the opening period. They lead 9-3. Bounce pass right side into the hands of Simmons. Taking out top of the key. Lambert down the lane. Lost the ball. Still loose. Picked up by Simmons. Simmons has it stolen. Throws it up to Simmons. Simmons a touch pass along the baseline. Her first play up put up by West Lambert. And he scores. 11-3. Tulsa at the other end. Her tee. As his dribble drive cut off along the baseline. Now Cameron Justice pull up 15 in and around. No good. Rebound. Derek Simmons. Outlet pass down the floor. Here comes Lambert. Lambert in transition. Down the lane. Has the ball slapped away. Regains the dribble. Gets knocked to the floor. And the foul will be called on Tulsa's per tee. Tulsa not settling into their offense, Travis. The Rebels falling behind early. Need to look for Josh Walker. You see role players trying to force shots. But instead, you need to be looking for the guys who've been carrying you the entire year to get your offense rolling. Lambert shaken up as he went to the floor and was landed on by Pertee, so he will come to the sideline. Official walks him over. He's holding the back of his head. Explanation given to Tom Gutshaw. 4.53 to play here in the opening quarter. Tom Adams will check in for Wesley Lambert. That's quite a loss for Tucker County. Lambert has done an excellent job being aggressive with the ball, going inside and challenging Tulsa to come over and pick him up. Mountain Lions have an eight-point lead in the basketball. Simmons, left side, down the floor, pull up, dump pass underneath. Rumor's shot is rejected out of bounds. Walker took it right out of his hands and sent it to the Tulsa bench. Tucker, five of six on the floor. Simmons dribbles between his legs, comes to Adams, left wing, puts it on the floor with the right hand. Adams, dump pass over the head of everybody, trying to get it to Aleph under there, but it is intercepted by Josh Walker of Tulsa. Rebels need a hoop. They trail by eight into the corner. Cameron Justice deep in the corner. Back out to Josh Walker. They whip it around for T for three. Got it. Ashley Pertee, the junior guard, averaging 13 points per game, has his first three. 11-6, Simmons drives baseline, turn around, tries to force the action against Justice, misses the shot, rebound, pull down Walker. Walker puts it on the floor, up the far sideline. Josh pulls up, left side, 19 feet out, retreats and gives it to Pertee. Tulsa doing a nice job now, running a little bit more controlled offense. Sure, you're up tempo, but you've got to be in control when you run it. And Brumfield out of control, the big guy trying to take it baseline, had the ball slapped away, Cameron Justice has it, now his outlet pass is stolen by Tom Adams, the littlest guy on the floor, Adams takes it baseline, leaves it back for Kaismore, he puts up an attempted shot, going to be fouled, they'll call it on the floor, on the reach on Tulsa. Three thirty-seven to play here in the opening quarter. 
11 to 6. That foul is called on the floor. And actually, per T, that is his second personal foul. And there's a break in the action from Charleston time to hear this message from West Virginia University. Success. State championships. 337 to play here in the opening quarter. 11 to 6. Tucker County with the five-point lead in the basketball. Rumor will inbound on the right side. Sends it in to Jim Aleph. Double team. Gets it back out. Into the corner. Kai's more. Now to Adam. Head fake. Dribble drive 14. Shot off glass. Good. Tucker County is now six of eight from the floor in the opening stages of this basketball game. They're firing on all cylinders. They lead by seven. 13 to six. Ashley Pertee down the lane. Hesitation shot is blocked out of the air. Foul called on Tucker, and Pertee will go to the line. Tucker County showing so much attention on shutting down Josh Walker. Pertee coming in from the opposite side, trying to keep the offensive closure rolling until Walker's able to break three and get more involved. Foul called on Derek Simmons. At the line is Pertee. First one up, no good. Ashley now five of seven from the free throw line in the tournament. 13 to 6, lead stays 7. Bertie front of the mark and it rims over. Substitution now is Harvey Markham who's really given this team some key, key minutes in this tournament. Checks in, replacing Ashley Bertie. Both coaches have had excellent play off the bench. You mentioned Markham. What about Kristen Thomas and the job he's done for Tucker? There's a pass underneath. Aleph, turnaround jumper, no good. Good position by Joey Brumfield of Tulsa to pull down the rebound. Rebel basketball, they trail by 6. Behind the back dribble, Salmons out top. Guarded loosely by Wes Lambert. Checks back in. Pass right side. Josh Walker puts it on the floor. Here he goes. Pull up three-pointer way off the mark. Front of the lift, no good. Rebound, tip four. Lost out of bounds by Wes Lambert of Tucker County. Tulsa will have it. Excellent defense by Kaismore of Tucker County. Proper spacing to deny Walker the opportunity to go inside, but yet there to jump him quickly when he pulled up for the shot. Walker inbounds to Brumfield, back to Walker in the corner, back to Brumfield, head fake from 19, pulls up from 18, got it. Joy Brumfield, the center, has five points in the paint, no. Outside, one of them is a three, and now that 18-foot jump shot. 13 to nine is now our score. Jump pass goes inside, turnaround jumper, Simmons got it. Five points for Derek Simmons. Great turnaround jump shot once he got that penetration. 2.19 to play here in the opening period. 15 to 9. To lead to six for Tucker County. Now, Tucker in his zone. Here's Walker going down the lane. Jump pass, front field underneath. Head fake, gets the defender in the air. Simmons, he missed the shot. Walker has his shot blocked by Kaismore. He slaps the ball away and pulls it down. Crosses the timeline. Kaismore, right side pass. Simmons puts it on the floor, drives baseline. Bounce pass inside. Rumor off glass. Good. Tucker County has a precision offense. They know how to go to the opposite side, put the ball on the floor, and look for open people along the baseline. Eight-point lead, 17-9. Tucker shooting 70% from the floor in this first half. Here's Brumfield from 19. Won't go this time. Rebound Kaismore in the lane. Pulls it down, and he brings it up the floor. Harvey Markham picks him up. Retreats as Kaismore passes right side. What a dramatic turnaround that shooting percentage is. Now here's Tom Adams trying to three. Hit off the back iron, then off the top of the backboard. Correction Wesley Lambert. And that will give us a stoppage of play and give the ball to Tulsa. 70% from the floor this quarter for the game against Clay County. Tucker shot only 38%, improved that up to 44% last night against Bam. They're uh, trying to set a record here. Left side, Walker called on the travel. Fourth turnover on Tulsa as he caught the ball in the left wing and tried to dribble drive along the baseline. 17 to 9, Tucker with the ball, leading by eight. Part of Tulsa's success, they have not had a lot of turnovers. 21 turnovers in two games coming into this game. Both clubs have kept that category low while having a high amount of steals defensively. Aleph with the ball on the right baseline, forces the pass inside to Simmons, and ahead of the pass, we get a whistle and a push foul on Cameron Justice. That's his first team foul number four. 17 to nine is the score. Here is Aleph, bumps, puts up the shot, call and a travel. Trying to get position on Brumfield, and I'm sure Joy Brumfield, when he heard that whistle, the kind of tournament he's had in foul trouble, his heart sunk, but traveling violation instead of the foul. Nice job by Brumfield, held his position, forced Aleph off the block and the stutter step. 
Justice passes left side to Sammons. Dribbles the ball down low, popping out as Walker to take it at the arc. Now right side, Justice for three. Side of the mark, no good. Front of the rim, rebound cleared by Simmons down the floor. Here comes Simmons down the lane. Simmons lost the ball behind him. He goes out of bounds, and they say it went off. Harvey Markham Shin, and Tucker will keep it with 30 seconds to play in the opening period. 17 to 9, Tucker County leads by eight. Mountain Lions looking for their first ever state championship. Pass goes along the baseline to Rumor. Spin pass comes back out over the head of Lambert. He gets a fingertip on it, knocks the flow of the ball down into the hands of Kaismore. Now Kaismore has the ball taken away as he gets it to Simmons. Down to Walker. Walker for Tulsa takes it to the rack. What a beautiful shot. Put it off the glass and good. And Walker has scored his first bucket of the game, and he'll shoot one. Even though Tucker County is quieted Walker offensively to start this game. He's been so active at the defensive end. Been involved with the rebound, sliding over to help Ron field out on Ayla, keeping himself active until he had an opportunity to strike and capitalize offensively. Foul called on Derek Simmons. That is his second personal foul. Team foul number three. And what a beautiful play by Josh Walker. He put the layup up with the left hand and took the foul on the right hand. Change the ball from right to left in midstream. Walker hits. Now four of seven from the line in the tournament. Lead down to five. Here comes some full court pressure. Tucker breaks it. Kaismore down the far side of the floor. Gets it out top. Rumor. Weak side now. Shot put up. Lambert three in and around. No good. Tipped up. No good. Tipped up again. Kept alive. Ayla puts it up just ahead of the buzzer and it won't fall. That's the end of the first period from the 1998 state championships in Charleston with our score. Tucker County, 17, Tulsa 12. This Second quarter underway, 17 to 12. Tucker leads by five. Tulsa with the basketball. Cameron Justice passes it around left side. Sammons forces a three. It's an air ball. Weak side rebound pulled down by Kaismore. Chases it down the corner. Tucker County shooting 57% from the floor in that first period of play. Lambert tries to dribble through a double team. Sammons knocks the ball off his foot and out of bounds. High shooting percentage for Tucker County, but defensively, Travis thought they were very smart forcing players like Josh Justin Sammons, lesser known offensive players to do the bulk of the shooting for Tulsa. Here's a dribble drive and a shot put up by Justice, no good. Brumfield tries to follow it up. His ball is slapped out of bounds. Tulsa will keep it. Tucker County also out rebounding Tulsa, eight to four in the early stages of this game. And again, you see those quick hands of Tucker County getting in there, upsetting the timing of Tulsa. Sammons, top to Brumfield. Here's Walker, screen set for him, couldn't pull the trigger. Gives up on the dribble and passes it off to James Salmon. So they're trying everything to screen open for Walker, and he just didn't have enough time that time to get square, set, and pull it. Now away from the ball, going to have a whistle and a foul called underneath on the right block. Foul is going to be called on Tucker County, and that will be Kaismore charged with the push. Kaismore getting backed into the blocks by Walker, but what an excellent job he has done. Nicely coming out around picks and screens to stay with Tulsa's leading score. Brumfield with the basketball into the corner. Walker, open three, air ball. Rebound pulled down by Harvey Markham. Came right into his hands like a gift out of the air, and he lays it up good on the left side. Markham with two, lead down to three. Markham's done a nice job off the bench. He had 11 against Weir yesterday afternoon. That's right side, Wesley Lambert. Holds the ball over his head. Strong pass down along the baseline to Aleph. Aleph is bumped ahead of the shot. We'll get a foul called on Tulsa. Surprising quickness for the big man. All you see when you look at him, those shoulders that are so impressive, that he moves well with the ball. Foul called on Joey Brumfield, his second personal. Team foul number five. Cosmore trying to get it in. Does immediately and breaking free. Underneath is Chris Thomas, and he lays it up good. Tulsa not doing a good job of protecting the weak side. Tucker County quickly striking. 19 to 14, trying to answer with a three. Harvey Markham cannot get it to fall. Rebound pulled down by the Mountain Lions. They lead by five, up the floor. Lambert drives baseline, jump pass, back out. Kaismore, three, side of the mark, no good. Rebound, Brumfield. Clears it out, bounce pass to Harvey Markham. Up the floor, here comes the Rebels on the run. Jay Sammons, bounce pass, kicked. 
by Wesley Lambert trying to get it to the right block and Tulsa will inbound along the sideline. Tulsa is a club that's very adept at shooting the three-point shot, but you wonder who's been shooting those threes now in the second quarter. It's not the normal people that have that high three-point shooting percentage. Jay Sammons left side to Walker to Brumfield. Back to Markham, looking inside constantly, but Tucker County's interior defense is like Lou. Left side, Brumfield drives under, shot over the head of Ailiff. He is good. Brumfield got himself a good offensive game, seven points thus far. Ailiff's not the only big man who moves well with the basketball along the baseline. Brumfield's points have all been tough points as well. Here's Lambert, right side, ball on his hip. Lead down to three, 19-16. Tucker with the advantage in the basketball. Tulsa man-to-man -man defense, Markham guards Kaismore. High post pass pulled in by Thomas. He wheels around, passes off in the corner. Rumor for three, too strong. Rebound, Justice in the corner. Being hassled by Chris Thomas. Gets it out to Harvey Markham. Markham waits for the traffic to clear and passes off to Cameron Justice. Justice into the front court to Josh Walker on the far sideline. Now to Brumfield. Clock is 5-12 to play in the first half. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul called. And it's going to go on Tucker County. As getting run over with Jay Sammons. Fouls on Chad Kaismore. That is his second personal foul. Team's fifth. Rebels inbound with 5.08 to play in the first half. Trailing by three. Sammons pass right side. Markham head fake on the three. Brumfield takes it out top for a quick touch. Now to Josh Walker. Around. Sammons three. Good. We're tied. 4.47. Tied at 19. Tucker County with the basketball. Wes Lambert works it between the rings. Also picking up the defense. Man on man now. Really going. Knows the chest. Five seconds down. Nope. Three seconds in the lane is going to be the call. Tight, tight defense by the Rebels. Fifth turnover for Tucker County. As the Mountain Lions got caught watching the paint drive. And they use their offense in a big play to pick up their defensive pressure. What's the reason that three-point shot went down from Salmons? Simply because they ran it off a set play. Previously, Tulsa had been coming down. One pass, three-point shot. Getting into their offensive flow, it all works much better. Salmons' fourth three-pointer of the tournament. Ties is at 19. Pass right side. Salmons with the basketball. Puts it on the floor. Out to Brumfield. Head fake from 19. Thought about it twice. Instead goes to Walker. Stales to the lane. Shot off the glass. Good. Walker has five. Tulsa with their first lead at 21 to 19. 7-0 run. And here's Tucker throwing the ball away as Rumor Try to get it along the baseline inside the Jim Aliff. The ball goes out of bounds. We have a buzzer sound. Not sure if the ball actually did go out of bounds. We're going to get a timeout. But who will have the basketball? Officials are going to confer here with 3.56 to play in the first half. The ball will belong to Tulsa. As the Rebels lead 21 to 19. With 3.56 to play here in the first half. Tulsa will inbound the basketball. And bring it up the floor. Jay Sammons will walk it across the timeline. 21 to 19. Sammons pulls up. Pass comes right side. Harvey Markham. Markham stands. Tells Joey Brumfield to position himself on the block. Passes off to Josh Walker. Out to the corner. Sammons. Justice and around to Walker on the right wing. Tulsa now being very patient, running their offense, letting it cycle through. Markham with 3.27 to play. First half, 21 19. Sammons on Adams, gets by him, drives baseline, shot good. Wow. Very patient, waiting for the picks to be there so that you can put it on the floor and get some help. 9-0 run now for Tulsa. Here's Tucker County trying to answer. Dribble drive down the lane. We'll get a foul called on the floor ahead of the pass as Derek Simmons was fouled trying to dump it off to Jim Aylip. 3-0-9 to play here in the first half. We have a break in the action. Exclusive Metro News coverage of the 1998 West Virginia State Tournament being brought to you in part by...
the end of one. Tulsa leads now by four. Here's Aleph, turnaround jumper, and that's the way to break a run. Nice. Get, it in, get it inside to Aleph and get the high percentage shot. Nice recognition by Tucker County. Substitution, Brumfield comes out of the game. New players on the front line, and they immediately go test them out. And Hovenak has checked in, and we're going to get a whistle and a foul called away from the basketball on Tulsa. We have push foul. And that's Alan Hovenak. He picks up his first personal foul and the 17 foul. So we'll walk to the other end and shoot a one and one. It's a two point Tulsa lead. The new defensive adjustment for Tulsa with Bromfield out of the game. Cameron Justice slides over to pick up Aleph. Justice did a nice job against Tim Lyle on Thursday. Aleph might offer just a little bit more quickness than the Polka All Stater. Jack Tizemore wasn't sure who was shooting the free throws. And now the officials aren't so sure. They'll discuss it here. Guys more popped up to the lane and he wants to shoot him. Now Mike Smith says it should be Derek Simmons, who is two of ten from the line in the tournament. Kaismore is eleven of eighteen. Yeah, Kaismore, the strongest free throw shooter for Tucker County, nearly eighty percent on the year. Mike Smith requesting either a timeout or wanting a technical foul because Tucker tried to put Kaismore at the line, but instead it's going to be West Rumor. He's 5 of 11 at the line in the tournament. Free throw up, no good. Rebound tipped away from Cameron Justice by Jim Aliff, and they will give the basketball out to Tulsa. 2.50 to play here in the first half, 23 to 21. Rebels with a two point lead. Left side. Jay Sammons crosses the timeline. Sammons passes into the corner to Harvey Markham. Markham to Hovenak. Top of the key passes off to Josh Walker. Rebels lead by two. 2.30 to play here in the first half. Ball knocked loose by Simmons. Picked up by Tulsa. Walker now into the hands of Harvey Markham. Travis without Brunfield in the game. Not a lot of offensive possibilities in the block area now. Tucker County can extend on out with their defense. This is where Walker needs to take over. He catches the ball in the lane, and you can tell he's frustrated offensively. He just throws up a left-handed shot. It's an air ball. Now Kaismore bumps heads with Harvey Markham. They get the ball down to Jim Aleph along the baseline left side. He scores. Count the hoop. He will go and shoot one. Without Brumfield in the game, Mike Smith and Tulsa don't have a lot of answers for Jim Aleph. Try to front him. Work him on the backside as well, but he's very mobile and exceptionally strong, and he's quick once he gets the ball. No hesitation when Aleph gets the ball. He's working for the hoop. So here's the problem defensively for Mike Smith. They sit down Brumfield with two personal fouls to rest him. His replacement, Alan Olenak, comes in, picks up two personal fouls in a hurry. Aleph makes the free throw. Tucker County leads by one at 24 to 23 with 152 to play here in the first half. Pass left side. Josh Walker yo-yos the ball in his hands, goes underneath. Jay Sammons goes up strong, has the shot blocked from behind, and the foul is called on Derek Simmons, his third personal foul. Mike Smith will now gamble a little bit as well. The two personal fouls on Brumfield. He will re-enter the game under the two-minute mark. Jay Sammons will be at the line trying to gain back the lead with two made free throws. Sammons, four of seven from the free throw line in the tournament. He has five points this afternoon. Free throw is up. It is good. Now three of four from the line is Tulsa. Tucker is one of two. Sammons ties this at 24. Free throw, back of the iron. No good. Rebound pulled down by Rumor. Outlet to Kaismore. 142 to play first half. Kaismore pulls up three in and out. Rolled around. No good. Rebound pulled down. Thomas, his shot's rejected. Comes out into the hands of Salmon. Salmon's pull up three pointer in and around. No good again. Hovenak calls it up good. Hovenak has had his problem staying with Jim Ayla, but gets up and down the floor very well. A nice timing on that offensive stick back. Good hustle by Salmon. Knocks the ball away, but back into play. Tucker County shoots for three. Well, Lambert, no good. Rebound, high post, turnaround jumper. Kaismore off the front of the rim on the rebound. We're going to have a push foul called on Tulsa on the rebound. Tucker County getting caught up in a little bit of the excitement. Tulsa turning up the heat defensively. Firing a couple of shots that probably would have been better served had Tucker County gotten back into the offensive rhythm. Foul call on Josh Walker. That is the 19th foul. 
second on Walker. 26-24, Tulsa with the lead. At the line is Thomas. He throw is up, it is good. Makes it 26-25 now. 114 remaining in the first half. Thomas, side of the iron, front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Allen Hovenet. Far side of the floor, Jay Sammons. Down to the final 65 seconds to play here in the second period. Markham pops out, left side. Now to Hovenet. Stands, looks, right side pass. Walker back door cut. Markham in tall timber. Gets it back out to Walker. He starts down the lane. Scoop shot up and good. Nice discipline on the part of Markham. Knew he was in a difficult area. Held his poise, waited till he got the ball to a scoring leader. Seven points for Walker. Tucker County trying to force the ball down inside to Jim Aleph. Aleph was caught inside. The pass came outside off the hands of Wesley Lambert and out of bounds. When Brumfield is in there and Aleph and Brumfield post up block to block, Aleph is going to have to step toward the ball because he just can't plant himself and move Brumfield back. 28-25, Tulsa leads by three. 34 seconds of the play here in the first half. Jay Sammons, yo-yo dribble with the basketball. Coming out, Tom Adams, the challenge. Adams breaks him down, gets down low. Handoff pass goes to Harvey Markham. Now he hands it to Josh Walker on the far side. Tulsa looking for the final shot of the first half, leading by three. Clock at 16, Walker. Now to Jay Sammons. Works it between the ranks, clock at nine. Salmon starts down the lane, right elbow. Pass comes into the corner to Walker. Spin, move along the baseline. Pull up, jumper with three. On the rim, no good follow up. Rumfield, no good follow up. Again, short ahead of the buzzer. And Tulsa will not get another opportunity. It's halftime at the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum. With the score, Tulsa 28, Tucker 25. This Backward side of the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum. One half of basketball to decide the Class AA State Championship. Tulsa leads at the break, 28 to 25 over Tucker County. Checking on official scoring in the first half. Tucker being led by Jim Aleph. He has nine points in the basketball game. From there, you drop off the five for Derek Simmons. Four points for Wes Rumor and a trio with two points apiece. Tom Adams, Wes Lambert, and Chris Thomas. Meanwhile, for Tulsa leading the way. Seven points for Josh Walker and Joey Brumfield and six from Jay Sammons. Four points for Ashley Bertie and two apiece for Harvey Markham and Alan Hovnack. Tucker County will have the basketball with a three-point deficit to get the second half underway. Tucker shot 48% from the floor in that first half on 11 of 23 shooting. Pass into the corner, Wes Rumor. Man-to-man, -man. pass goes into Aleph in the paint, turnaround jumper, front of the mark, no good. Rebound into the hands of Brumfield. It's slapped out by Jim Aleph, but went off the fingertips of Rumor out of bounds, Tulsa basketball. Tom Gutshaw stands up, tells Aleph, go up strong and finish. Aleph motions back to the bench that Brumfield is sliding under him a little bit, forcing him away from the basket. Rebels basketball on a three-point lead. Bertie, bounce pass. Inside, Walker, turnaround jumper, good. Double-teamed Walker with a head fake. Freed himself up, put up, the, put up his ninth point. Tulsa made their comeback run on Tucker County in the first half without Ashley Bertie in the lineup. 30-25, Tucker tries to answer, and they've gone cold here in the opening, uh, opening moments of the third quarter. Pass goes into Simmons, who turnaround jumper is no good. Bertie pulls down the rebound. And Tulsa had a 9-0 run in that third quarter. Starts out here with a five-point lead with seven minutes to play, quarter number three. Tucker in his zone. Pass left side, Jay Sammons puts it on the wing and now back out to Bertie. Nice patience on the part of Tulsa. First half, you would have seen them fire up that shot. Bertie dribbles through the lane, gets the penetration, they collapse around him. Nice bounce pass to Brumfield, and he lays it up good. You can see how much more efficient the offense is with Bertie working the ball. 32 to 25, largest lead of the game for Tulsa at seven. 6.27 to play here in the third quarter. Lambert inside to Aleph. Aleph on Brumfield, turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound loose along the baseline. Bertie pulls it in along the baseline. He threw it off the shoulder of the Tucker County player, Chad Kaismore, Tulsa basketball. Tulsa clearly has taken the aggressive edge in this third quarter. 
6-17 to play, and that was a perfect example on Aleph's shot. Instead of going up strong, he decided to fall away. Perti on the left wing. Bounce between the rings now. Duke Justice over for three. Salmon's too strong. Rebound loose along the lane, and it's going to go out of bounds as Justice tried to save it back in but couldn't. Salmon's probably would have been wise to work the ball around a little bit more. You've got Tucker County on their heels with their inside defense. It would be wise to be a little bit more patient. Look for Walker and Brumfield inside. 5.50 to play third quarter. Here is Simmons. He forces up a shot along the baseline. Foul called on Josh Walker, and that is his third. So 5.49 to play here in quarter number three. Mike Smith holds up three fingers in the air towards Josh Walker just to remind him, and he has three personal fouls, and Simmons will be at the line. They're trying to improve on a two for 10 performance in the tournament thus far, make it two for 11. 32 25, seven point lead for Tulsa with 5.49 to play here in the third quarter. Second free throw, good. And they're going to wipe it off. We got a lane violation called on Tucker. So the free throw will not count. Tulsa basketball, seven point lead. 5.47 to play in the third quarter. Looks like Mike Smith is going to spread the offense, create one-on-one -on -one situations. His club a little bit quicker, he feels offensively to work it. Perti, left side, pulls up on the dribble. Top to Walker. He puts it on the floor, spin move into the lane, head fake, shot up, good. Walker with 11, 34-25. When you spread the offense out for Tulsa, it gives Walker more opportunities to work, create, and either finish or set up a teammate. 8 0 run from Tulsa now, 34 to 25. Wes Lambert bounce pass right side to Derek Simmons. Simmons along the block, shot put up, short. Rebound pulled down by Brumfield. Simmons had a wide open look, just left it a tad bit short. Here comes Tulsa with the basketball. Salmons, left side pass pulled in and a travel called as Josh Walker tried to start his dribble drive along the baseline. 4.55 to play, third period. 34-25, Tucker in need of a bucket. They need a successful trip down the floor offensively. You can see Tucker deliberately walking the ball. They want to try to get back into their offense. Kaysmore, jump pass, left side, pulled in, rumor underneath. Ball go through the hands of Simmons, out of bounds. Tucker, or rather Tulsa, just so active along the baseline. Stepping out, getting a hand on any pass that comes inside. Three, rather 4.37 to play. 34-25, Tulsa with their largest lead at nine. Cameron Justice, foul line extended left between the rings now to Ashley Perti. He dribbles it with the right hand, goes down the lane, has his drive cut up, nice defensive stop by Rumor. Now in the corner to Sammons. Out between the rings, Ashley Perti dribbles between his legs. Now starts down the lane, splits defenders, puts up the shot blocked from behind by Rumor. Ball goes out of bounds, it will stay with Tulsa. 4-10 to play, quarter number three. Nine-point lead for the Rebels. Slapping the basketball is Josh Walker. Looks to get it in, sends it out deep into the hands of Cameron Justice. Rips the pass over to Ashley Perti. Perti pulls up, three, good. He just pulled the defender because he dribbled it down low with those shifty eyes pulled up immediately, and we've talked about his quick release during this tournament. He drains the three-pointer, and the lead is out to 12 at 37 to 25. Tulsa with the lead. This Metro News Sports Broadcast being sponsored in part by... ...coverage of the 1998 state championships. Tucker County's Tom Gutschall uses a full timeout. His team has not scored in four minutes and six seconds here in the third period, and they've turned it over. Travis, I noticed before the timeout, the backcourt of Tucker County starting to look a little bit tired. Wes Lambert in particular seems to have lost a step. Perti spotted up, had a nice look at the basket, and Tucker County very slow in coming out to, to defend him, and he was able to get a good look at the threes. Rumor had the ball dribble off his fingertips along the far sideline, and now Jeff just works it inside. Walker turned around, jumper good. Tulsa on a 13-0 run. 39-25, 14-point lead. Tucker with the basketball. Mountain Lion pull up jumper. Lambert for three. Front of the mark, no good. Rebound, Josh Walker in the lane. Now the pass. Ashley Perti up the floor. Ashley
Ashley goes left side. Ashley shoots. Ashley misses, but he'll go to the line and shoot two. The signs keep piling up. The Tucker County has a tired ball club. The shot by Lambert, very flat. Tucker County looked like they were getting back and defending well at midcourt, and then the Rebels just blew by and picked up the foul. Foul was on Wes Lambert. He could not get back in time, and Ashley Lambert is one Bertie quick individual with the basketball. Bertie at the line. Hits. 40 to 25 now, 15 point lead for Tulsa. That is obviously the largest of the game with 319 to play in the third quarter. Bertie, front of the mark, no good. Ayla pulls down the rebound. Looks for an outlet and finds one in Wesley Lambert. Down the far sideline. Lambert, left side. Now to Aleph. Aleph turnaround jumper, puts up the shot, no good. I'll tell you what, Tulsa is beating Tucker County alive on the boards right now. Three minutes to play in the third period. If you combine the second period along with this run, Tulsa's on a 37 to 14 run. Tulsa with the ball on the baseline. Walker puts it up in traffic, good. Walker has eight in the quarter, 15 in the basketball game. Tulsa still fresh, they've got the fresh legs. Able to get a step, move it inside, and then create along the baseline. Sizemore into Aleph. Aleph shoots off glass. He missed the inside shot on the rebound. There's a fight for the loose basketball. Foul's going to be called on Cameron Justice. His second team foul, number two on Tulsa. Any kind of foul problems that Mike Smith might have been facing at the start of the third quarter. He's been able to avoid as we wind down to under three minutes. 237 to play. Walker has three, and Brumfield has two on the floor. Here's another contested inside or uh, entry pass, rather. It's knocked out of bounds. Tucker will keep it trailing, 42 to 25, with 235 to play in the third period. On the baseline, Rumor spin move, pulls up jumper, good, good looking move from West Rumor. Back Justice in the 15 turnaround jumper, hit it over his outstretched hands. Yeah, Rumor looked very strong and backing into the baseline. First point of the third quarter for Tucker County, 219 to play in the third. Justice tries to drive baseline, has his shot blocked. Aleph, personal foul number two. Rumor. He was playing the baseline deep, could not get his foot along the white stripe to cut it off, and Justice exploited it, took it underneath, and he draws the personal foul and will shoot two. Cameron Justice, the junior forward, at the line, free throw is up and good. His first points of the basketball game. As a rule of thumb, Tulsa has not shot free throws exceptionally well over the course of this tournament. It's the second. They're now three of four from the line here in the third period. 44-27. Lead is at 17 with 2.09 remaining in the third period. Tom Adams is checked in to give Wes Lambert a breather. Aleph high post pass to Simmons. Simmons pulls it in and scores. Got by the defender. Cleared him up on the pass, and he scores it, making it 44-29. Popping Aleph out to the high post and drawing so much attention, it creates a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Tucker County opposite side. Bertie works it around left side. Salmon, shake and bake, move down the lane. Dish pass, Walker puts it up good. Walker's eating him alive in the paint. I'll tell you what, he's getting some beautiful passes in there to free him up. Some of these guards picking up some beautiful assists into the corner. Here's Cosmore, shoots for three, no good. Ayla pulls down the rebound. He is bumped as he goes up. As actually per T gave him a little body. That is the third on per T. And they will call it on the floor. So Tulsa going to man-to-man -man defense, and they'll take a timeout. The 22nd timeout with 126 to play in the third, 46-29. Mike Smith of Tulsa taking the timeout, making some foul insurance substitutions. When you think of Mike Smith coaching, you, you might think of the Birch Mike Smith, but this Mike Smith of the Tulsa Rebels is a graduate of Kermit High School in 1984, played his college basketball with Alice Lloyd in Hindman, Kentucky, out of college. Spent his first four years as a head coach of the Gilbert Lions basketball team in his native Mingo County. Went down to Tulsa for one year as an assistant under Lauren Perry. And now here he is, his first year as the head coach. Championship game of the state tournament. 126 to play in the third. 
in the third period of play. Tulsa shooting seven of nine from the floor. They've scored 18 points, three of four from the line. Tucker County just shooting 20% from the floor here in the third period. 126 to play in quarter number three. Tucker County looking to get the ball in bounds. They do to Jim Aliff on the right wing. Puts it on the floor once, passes off to Kaismore. Around to Adams, into the corner. Pass taken by Rumor, pull up jumper. Rumor, good. Rumor has four of his team's six points here in the third period. 46-31. Clock at 65 seconds and it's turning. As Biddy mentioned, they have substituted as the Rebels. Hovenak is in, as is Markham. Hovenak takes it down the lane, tries to put up an acrobatic shot. Really tried to draw the foul. Whistle didn't come. Rebound pulled down by Tucker County. Tom Adams, out top. Clock at 49 seconds to play. High post pass into the hands of Simmons. Turnaround head fake, drives it left block, shot off glass, good. Nice recognition of the defensive setup by Tucker County. Some substitutes into the game. The Mountain Lions go attack that area. 46-33, Mountain Lions coming back to a 13-point lead for Tulsa. Clock at 29 seconds to play. Markham passes near side to Jay Salmon. Salmon stabbed out by Adams. He comes up with nothing but air. Pass goes into the corner, back out into the hands of Jason Walker. Walker now hands it off to Harvey Markham. Markham stands, wants some help, cutting Salmons, bounce pass, left baseline, pulled in by Cameron Justice, and Justice is called on the travel. Rumor helping his club at the defensive end of the floor as well, jumping out. Nice job establishing position and forcing the turnover. Here comes Adams, clocked down to five into the lane, got out of control, lost the ball. It's loose, ball belongs to Tulsa with 2.8 seconds to play in the third period. 46-33, Rebels with a 13-point lead. The inbounds will come into Harvey Markham. He comes up the floor. He will shoot from half court, and it will be no good. That's the buzzer. That is the end of the third period from the 1998 state championships in Charleston with the score. Tulsa, 46, Tucker County, 33. Fourth quarter underway. Tucker County has some ground to make up. They trail by 13, 46-33. Walker for three, no good. Hung on the front lip of the rim. Ayla pulls down the rebound. Tucker County has scored just 16 points in the second and third quarters combined. Outscored 34 to 16 by Tulsa. Keep in mind, they led by five at the end of one. Pass left side into the hands of Simmons. Now down to Ayla. Ayla posting up on Brumfield. Turn around, jumper on the rim. It falls, foul call. Ayla will shoot one. Aleph still has something left to challenge Tulsa with. Even when he drew the double team with Justice sliding over, strong enough to go up and get the basket. Foul on Justice, personal foul number three. So now on the floor, Fertie with three, Walker with three, Justice with three, as Aleph misses the free throw. Simmons falls it up off glass too strong. Brumfield skies and pulls down a rebound. Down the floor, Salmons. Salmons goes into Ayla, puts up the shot off glass. Good, great body control to avoid the contact as Jay Salmons banks it off glass and through the cylinder. 48-35, 6-10 to play in the basketball game. Lob pass goes into Ayla to going into him every single time. Turnaround jumper against Brumfield, missed it. Rebound comes down to Justice. Pulls down the ball, being hassled the double team. Tries to step through it, and a foul is going to be called on Tucker County. Fortunate break for Tulsa. Justice really got himself hemmed up after he lost the dribble and could not find anyone to get it out to. Ayla picks up personal foul number three, and that is the third team foul, the second half here on Tucker County. 48-35, Mountain Lions trail by 13 with 6.49 remaining in the basketball game. Justice has the ball slapped away, saves it along the sideline. Now he's double teamed. Tom Adams reaches in, ties the basketball up. And the foul will be called on Tom Adams, and now a technical foul is going to be called on Tucker County. I think it's Aleph who got rung up. I was just getting ready to say that the emotions of Tucker County starting to get carried away. And Aleph has been whistled for the technical, which also counts as a personal. That will be his fourth. 6.45 to play, and that is a big sequence right there for Tucker County as the tide wasn't starting to turn as much, but at least Tucker County had the lead down to 13 with plenty of time on the clock. Here's Josh Walker at the free throw line. 
First one's up and good. And Travis, that foul occurred right in front of us, and it was the right call. Adams had grabbed the Tulsa player on the wrist when he went to get the ball. Walker misses this one. Ball will go out of bounds in possession of Tulsa. 49-35 with 6.45 remaining, and really, it could have been worse for Tucker County. They could have been in the bonus there. Just would have gave them a one and one, and then the technical foul free throw. Right now, the best they can do is a four-point play with a three, and the best they're going to do right now is get the basketball back as it's loose in the lane. A travel will be called on Ashley Pertee. He got knocked to the floor, went down to his knees, and was called on the travel. Tulsa immediately went to the baseline, tried to get Aleph out of the game, but he kept his poise, held his position well. Aleph has four. He's on the left block. Simmons with the basketball out top. Jump pass over the head of Tom Adams and out of bounds. Simmons that time just in a state of panic when he gave up the dribble. Tried to make a difficult cross-court pass to a player that only stands 5-6. 22nd timeout taken by Tucker County with 6-18 remaining in the basketball game. 49 to 35 is our score. And now the, I believe they've given him a full timeout. The assistant coach from Tucker County wants the official to make sure that he knows that they want a 22nd timeout and I think they're going to charge him with a full. 6-18 to play. This Metro News Sports exclusive is being sponsored in part by the West Virginia Coal Association because coal is West Virginia. The West Virginia Coal Association is proud to support education and athletics. The Coal Association... Attending college. Fair Fair Play stolen by Tucker County as Per T had it taken away, but then Tucker throws away the outlet pass. Now we'll have a foul called and a double team as Tulsa's guard trying to cut down the lane. Jay Sammons was fouled. Tom Gutshaw calling the timeout, trying to refocus his club away from the frustrations of, of some of the calls that they have questioned and getting back into their offense and defense, but yet, anytime a whistle is blown on a clearly evident foul, Tucker County still loses their poise. Tom Adams picks up his first personal foul, and they lose their man. Pass goes into the corner, Brumfield got wide open underneath, and he lays it up good. Brumfield has 11 points in the basketball game, 51-35. 5.39 to play, coming down the lane. Kismore has the ball stolen down the floor. Walker takes it under, shot up last good. Tucker County is really coming on him here in this second half. 5.25 remaining, 53 to 35. The lead is 18, they turn the ball over again. Adams has it taken away. Salmons pull up jumper from seven. Side of the mark, no good. Tipped up, Walker pulls it down. Walker leaves it out for Per T. And Tulsa's Mike Smith says, pull it out. Let's run some clock. Per T, man on man, shake and bake on Tom Adams. Passes far side between the rings now to Sammons. And a club that is tired and frustrated now comes up with the big steal. Tucker County's Tom Adams ended up with the basketball after the steal. He gets knocked to the floor. Fouls caught on Tulsa. In this spread type of offense that Tulsa runs, it really makes a club chase after you. So if you're running low on gas, it's really going to take its effect. Bounce pass into the corner. Last foul called on Sammons of Tulsa, his first. Adams with the basketball, 4.44 to play. If Tucker's going to make a run, they need to do it now. They get two from Jim Aleph on the left block. 53 to 37 now. The ball trickles on the floor as it went through the rim. We'll get a substitution as Chris Thomas will check in for Tucker County, replacing Wes Rumor. Travis, I think Tucker will find the two-point shot there. Tulsa's going to concentrate their defense on not letting the three-point game get jacked up. Brumfield with the ball, throws it back into the backcourt. He did not cross into the frontcourt. I want to make it sound that way. Trap in the corner as Tulsa crosses the timeline. On the far side with Walker, jump pass back out into the hands of Sammons. Tulsa now knows the clock is their friend. 4-16 in the turning. They have a 16-point lead over Tucker County. Pass goes to the far side. Back door, Brumfield, turnaround jumper over the head of Thomas, in and out, hard luck shot. Rebound cleared by Aleph. Here comes Tucker County. Simmons into the front court, pulls up along the baseline, out to Kaismore. Thought about the three, gets it to Adams, head fake on the three, bounce back, back out to Kaismore, dribbled it off his knee, but picked up by Simmons. Shoots from 19, no good. Walker pulls down the rebound. 
Josh Walker crosses the timeline, splits the defender, goes under, is going to be fouled by Simmons, and Walker will shoot two. That is the fourth on Derek Simmons. Even though Walker has not had one of his better scoring days, you still see him so active around the basket. He's a senior, a leader, who knows that there are other ways to help a team, even if your shooting game is not at its best. 53-37, just 3.46 remaining in the basketball game. Walker will step to the line. He is two of three. Going to be shooting two. That was the 17th foul in Tucker County as Walker nails the front end of two. Walker with 21 points as he misses this one. Rebound comes down to Simmons. Tucker County Simmons up the floor. Almost lost the ball out of bounds. Now a lob pass goes underneath Thomas. Thomas takes a bump before he hits the floor. And a foul will be called on Cameron Justice, his fourth. And that will put Thomas at the line to shoot two. Nice job on the part of Tucker County's Kristen also Thomas getting back quickly. Involved in the rebound at the defensive end. Coming back down the floor, setting up, getting himself in position. 54-37. Thomas needs to drain both of these. Tucker needs every point they can get down the stretch here. Thomas puts it through the cylinder. Good. 54-38. Thomas had a nice evening Thursday against Clay County off the bench. 12 points in the win. Thomas hits two. He's got five in this game. 54-39. Tulsa with the basketball and the lead by 15. Bertie crosses the timeline. They're trying to trap him in the corner. They can't. Gets it to Sammons. Now they'll try to set up a trap on him, but he throws the pass away ahead of it. Now a trap is set up on the far side. The ball is stolen by Simmons, and a foul is called. Mike Smith upset at Tulsa for not protecting the basketball. You take the pass on the wing. Instead of shielding the ball between you and the defender, you hold it out, getting ready to put it on the floor. Foul is called on Rumor. That is his first eighth team foul, and that will put Walker at the line to shoot one and one. Free throw up. Good. 55 to 39. Walker good again. 56 39. Seven different players have scored in this basketball game for Tulsa. 3 22 remaining. Pass goes far side. Kaismore threw it away. Tried to throw a pass to the baseline to Thomas. Thomas, instead of cutting out, cut in along the baseline. And Tulsa with 317 remaining in the basketball game will inbound and bring it up across the timeline. Ashley Pertee into the corner. His trap gets it to Justice. Justice holds it. They slap at him. Now into the corner. The ball is taken underneath by Walker back out to Pertee. Clock at three minutes to play. Tucker is going to have to consider fouling here soon. Double team. Pertee has the ball slapped away. Gets it back. Throws it back door. Brumfield lost it. And it goes out of bounds. Tucker County eats some time off the clock, but they do turn the basketball over. 2.51 remaining. 56-39. Mountain Lions in need of some threes here. They've only hit one in this basketball game. That coming from Derek Simmons. Right side corner. Thomas along the baseline. Drives baseline. Block's going to be called on Cameron Justice, and he is fouled out of the basketball game with 2.40 to play. Cameron Justice will foul out with two points in this game. We look back on what he's done in the tournament. In the game against Weir, Cameron Justice scored four points, and he had eight against Polka. Doesn't matter how many he scored in this tournament. The job he did defensively, particularly against Tim Lyle on Thursday, is a big step in Tulsa getting to this championship game today. Thomas at the line to shoot one and one. Free throw is up. It is good. Let's further follow up on what Cameron Justice did for this team. Alex Amerides, the fine center of Weirton yesterday. He did a nice job shadowing. Second one, Thomas won't stick. Rebound cleared by Walker. 56 to 40. 16 point lead for Tulsa. Ball slapped away. Rumor took it away. Simmons picks it up. Down to Aleph. Aleph goes strong. Aleph is going to be fouled. He will shoot two. Good foul by Tulsa because Aleph had himself a layup. The 2.32 remaining in the basketball game. Tulsa wants to take a timeout. 2.32 remaining. It's going to be a 20-second timeout. 56 to 40. 
Mike what? Smith right now just wants to tell his basketball team to get the ball across the timeline and take care of it. I think Mike's a little bit upset. His team seems to have relaxed a little bit defensively. You've got a big lead. You're under three minutes to go. And instead of keeping the heat turned on and finishing things off, they've relaxed. Tucker County's been able to move a couple of things inside, work along the baseline without much of a challenge. 56 to 40, Aleph will step up to the free throw line. He has 13 points in the basketball game. His team trails by 16. 2.32 remaining. Aleph free throw up, good. Jim Aleph, the junior center. And you look at this Tucker County basketball team all around, very young. Four juniors in the starting lineup. Aleph misses this one. Rebound down to Brumfield. The only senior in the starting lineup, Chad Pesmo. Back, three-quarter court. Ashley Pertee, in the face of pressure, pulls up, travels with the basketball. That's a nice point. Can you imagine what Jim Aleph will be like next year after a summer on the weights? 56 to 41, Tucker County needs 15 points and in a hurry. Kaismore passes out to Simmons, top of the key. Simmons down the lane, hesitation shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Aleph, he's tied up. And the ball will belong to Tucker County on the alternating possession era. 56-41, Mountain Lions. At this point, really need a couple of threes mixed in with some twos. Aleph puts it up and good. Here comes the pressure. 56-43 with 2.09 remaining in the basketball game. Marka to Salmon. Salmon's up the near side. Salmon's going to take it underneath. Leaves the bounce pass. Brumfield and he scores. That could be it. Two minutes to play. 58-43. to And we're going to have a charge call. Is bringing the ball up the floor with Simmons. He runs over Ashley Pertee. And that is the fifth on Derek Simmons. He will foul out with 1.59 remaining in the basketball game. Simmons had a very nice state tournament. 10 points against Mann last night, including 11 rebounds. And as Mann was making their fourth quarter run to overtake Tucker County, it was Simmons who was the one that stayed consistent. Simmons will foul out with nine points here today with 159, and Tom Adams will check in. 58 to 43. The Rebels lead by 15 points, and they have the basketball. One tick under two minutes in the second state championship in Tulsa High history in the backcourt. Sammons brings it down the lane, lost the ball, dives, picks it up, tries to throw back out and does to Walker. Walker to Pertee. Out top into the hands of Jay Sammons. Sammons has the ball slip. Tom Adams takes it away. Leaves the pass over for Kaismore. Clock at 135. Kaismore down the lane, puts up the shot, and Kaismore called on the charge. Ran over Josh Walker. Kaiser picks up his third personal foul, and we're going to have a timeout taken by Tulsa with 1.35 remaining in the basketball game. Mike Smith does not act like a coach who's a moment away from winning a state championship. 58-43, Tulsa leads by 15. You're listening to the 1998 West Virginia State Basketball Championships. Tulsa basketball, they lead by 15. We're in the stretch run, 122 remaining. Tulsa, Tucker County trying to commit the foul. Instead, Tulsa turns it over, but it's loose on the floor. Still loose as a dive board. Ashley Pertee will be the last Rebel to touch it as that scramble started here on the near sideline, ended up on the far sideline as that ball was bouncing around. So the ball will belong out of bounds to Tucker County. Pass goes right baseline into the hands of Chris Thomas. Pulls the trigger on a three. No good. Deep rebound comes out into the hands of Jay Sammons. He is bumped. Foul will be called on Chris Thomas. Mike Smith was heated when he called that timeout, was he not? His club runs the spread offense extremely well. Picks up the basket, but he felt like they were loafing a little bit, getting back down floor and getting set up in defensive position. And he let it be known that Smith expected his team to play out this game with the same intensity they began. Wes Rumor will check out. Eddie Poling will check in for Tucker County. Sammons will be at the line. He's one of two. He is shooting two shots on double bonus. Free throw is up. Front of the mark, no good. 104 remaining, and Tulsa is on their way to becoming the Class AA state champions. The 
He's leading Central in 91 for the first state championship and we're runners up to Bluefield 95. Sammons hits the second. 59, 43, 59 seconds to play. Adams down the lane, ball stolen. Good defense, Sammons behind the back dribble. Lead pass down the floor, Harvey Markham pulls up, passes over Brumfield, touch pass underneath. Pertee puts the topping on the championship cake. 61, 43 with 40 seconds to play. Kaismore shoots for three, no good. Rebound, Thomas falls it up, missed shot. Rebound comes down into the hands of Harvey Markham. Block at 30. Up the floor comes Jay Sammons. Chest pass along the baseline. Down to Walker, and we will get a stoppage in action. And timeout taken with 25 seconds to play as Mike Smith wants to clear his bench. Travis, it's been an excellent athletic year for the Tulsa Rebels. Their football team goes to the second round of the playoffs. Their basketball team wins the championship today. Maybe one of these days that football and basketball program will catch up to their cheerleader level of excellence. That is a high standard set at Tulsa High School. 61 to 43, the Rebels will be state champions. 25 seconds to play. 61 to 43, Tucker County is going to be denied an opportunity here to win state championships in both boys and girls. The girls team did their job last week, won back to back to back state champions under head coach David Kyle. 61 43, Tulsa will inbound. Jason Walker will have it. Tucker is going to concede and let Walker dribble around that top as the clock winds down to 17, and now Walker throws the ball away, trying to get it underneath to Brandon Stilton. Such a rarity to see a girls and boys team win state basketball championships in the same year. Stonewall Jackson, one of the last teams to do it 12 years ago. Hedrick in the corner, shoots for three and got it. Hedrick will make it. 61-46, down to five, down to four, into the front court. Walker pulls up. Clock at one, throws the ball high into the student section. The Tulsa Rebel students come on the floor, bodies hitting the floor as the Tulsa Rebels have knocked off the number one team in class AA to become the 1998 state champions. the final from the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum, the Tulsa Rebels, 61, Tucker County, 46. We'll return to the state capitol in a moment after we hear these words from Gomar. Go for good. Wearing orange and blue, very happy and celebrating to our left on the floor, 61 to 46, Tulsa with a record of 24-2, and two, 1998 state champions. Tucker County, a year ago after the Polka loss, dedicated themselves from that point that they were going to learn what it took to advance in this state tournament after falling short in the semifinals for two years. They got it done this year, going to the championship game, and with the club as young as what Tom Gutshaw has, certainly with that same commitment and dedication, they might find themselves on the happy end of the celebration next year. Now you look back on this game, Speedy, where did Tucker County go wrong? They led by five at the end of the first eight minutes of period from that point to the point where we are now, and that's post-game. Tulsa outscored Tucker 49-29. to 29. Tucker, I think, lost a little bit of aggressiveness, particularly at the guards, Travis. Not able to penetrate, look for Aleph like they did in the first quarter. And by the time we were midway through the third quarter, you could see the Mountain Lions were starting to tire. Tulsa, meanwhile, started to flourish offensively. And Josh Walker absolutely beat this basketball team in the second half. He scored 10 points in the third quarter. He coupled that with six in the fourth. Finishes up with 23 points in the basketball game. But again, it was balanced scoring from Tulsa. They had seven different players score here today. And it becomes so difficult to defend them defensively because they have so many guys that won't kill you 
but will hurt you. You can see Josh Walker now bent over in tears in front of the Colford bench. But he's a guy that likes to get the ball off the boards, comes up the floor, and create in transition. It's what makes him so effective. About set for the presentation of the awards. Tulsa seated to our left, Tucker County to our right, and as you can imagine, the first award will be the Sportsman's Award. Bitter disappointment from Tucker County. And the winner is Clay County High School. Panthers picking up the Sportsmanship Award in Class AA. Panthers losing to Tucker County in the opening round, 72 to 63. Dale Davis's team had a very good year. The next up award will be for the School Spirit Award, and the winner is Tulsa High School. Imagine that Tulsa winning something associated with cheering. <laughs> And now, here's your all-tournament team. From Tulsa, Josh Walker. Well, what can you say? 23 points today. Josh Walker with 20 and 21 in his other two games. He hit his average coming in and then some. From Polka High School, Tim Lyle. Tim Lyle for the second year in a row will make the all-tournament team and Polka went From out Tucker County, in the first Jim round. Ayla. Tim Lyle had 30 points. Jim Ayla will get up to receive his all-tournament team plaque. He had 16 points in the basketball From game today. Tulsa High, Ashley Pertee. Pertee, an unsung hero in that Tulsa offense, the very speedy guard, and I'll have memories From of him school, cutting to the Ryan basketball Jeter. getting by all defenders. Ryan Jeter, of course, had 40 points from the most points school, scored in this Jason state tournament Collins. thus far. Man High School, Jason Collins, very good shooting forward from Tucker for the County, Derek Simmons. Derek Simmons also making the all tournament team from Tucker County. Derek straddled with foul trouble, fouled out with nine points. And from here today. High School, Joey Brumfield. <laughs> Joey Brumfield played a marvelous tournament, not only from the points, but he did so many things well. 13 points, very, very physical player. So the all-tournament team goes three for Tulsa, two for Tucker. As you look out onto the floor, and Tim Lyle for Polka, and also Jason Collins from Mann High School. That is your all-tournament team. 61 to 46 as Tulsa wins the state championship in class double-a their second in school history tucker still looking for their first state championship in school history this was their first state championship game here this afternoon we'll return to the charleston civic center coliseum in a moment this is the metro news radio network and now we would like to present the individual awards to the 1998 boys basketball runner-up team from tucker county high please come forward number 10 jay heisenberg Number 12, Tom Adams. Number 14, Wes Lambert. Number 20, Eddie Pauling. Number 22, Neil Parsons. Number 24, Wes Rumor. Number 30, Jason Henry. Number 32, Derek Simmons. Number 34, Chad Frankly. Number 40, Jim Allen. Number 42, Dave Lambert. And number 44, Chris Thomas.
come forward to receive the 1998 Boys Basketball Runner-Up Trophy. runner-up trophy and momentarily Tulsa will step up and receive their individual awards and then the big one the state championship trophy this same group of rebels that and will be receiving the championship trophy did not get out of the Team picture for Tulsa High and smiles all across. And now, with much pride and pleasure, we would like to present the Class AA West Virginia 1998 Boys Basketball Championship Trophy and Game Ball to Tulsa High School. Mike Smith and his assistant coaches come forward to receive that trophy that's got to feel oh so good in his hands. Players lifting it into the air now as Tulsa High finishes the season with 24 wins and a state championship. Final 61 to 46, 23 points from Josh Walker led the way as the Rebels are number one. Production coordinator of the SSAC State Tournament Network is Heidi Sappel. John McKinney is the technical director on site, assisted by Noel Richardson and Sherman Ward. Satellite services were coordinated by Jim Bell and Ralph Messer and provided by the Metro News Radio Network in full CD quality stereo. While commercial continuity was provided by Joe Parsons, Kathleen Lorden, and Wanda Glenn. Sean Banks is the affiliate relations manager for the State Tournament Network. Stats provided by Jeff Campbell. The game site stage.